Hoof Care Today with Gene Ovenek is brought to you by EDSS, the leader in hoof care technology and information. My Icelandic friend Fiedla and I are going to demonstrate the shoeing protocol recommended by the Equine Lameness Prevention Organization. I've got this foot prepared for a shoe. I've made my marks at the back of the foot at the depressions and at the dimple and I've drawn a line across there. I've doubled the distance from the central sulcus to find my true apex of a frog, measured back seven eighths on this foot because it's very small. I've exfoliated the foot to the level of the functional sole. I've drawn my line around this junction. I've trimmed the foot to that line. The heels have terminated here, close to the back of the frog, measured forward to find the tip of the coffin bone. This is where the breakover line is. I've removed the flares around the perimeter of this foot so that it's now ready to be fitted with a shoe. This shoe is fitted so that it is equally divided around this widest part. This shoe happens to have a mark in the center of it to help you identify where that is. We fit the shoe equal to the hoof wall at the toe quarters because we've got the hoof wall properly groomed, flares removed, distortions gone. That way we know that we're fitting right to the coffin bone. And with that, we'll leave just a bit of width here. Not much, just enough to feel more of the shoe. And then as it goes towards the heel, we'll have just a gradual amount beyond the level of the, of the hoof wall. My first marks that I made, the shoe will end at that point. To continue learning about this topic, go to hoofcaretoday.com. And to learn more about EDSS, the leader in hoof care technology and information, visit edsshoofcare.com.